ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ವೆಲ್ಮ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗಾರ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಮೇಝಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವಾಂಡ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಬೋತ್ ದಯಾಲುರಾಮ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಕಿಶೋರಿ ಮಾತಾಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ steadily taking up this very very important uh, service because steadiness is a sign of true enthusiasm we don't want rabbit enthusiasm we want the tortoise enthusiasm so they have been doing it and especially so for organizing this program taking the initiative to organize this program of getting all those devotees who are whose heart is into uh, doing something for the children it may have started with their own children but it has now extended from swarth to niswarth and now paramarth engaging them in devotional activities so I'm very very thankful to all of you for coming here from different places uh also I would like to thank sankirtan prabhu he should get the biggest garland for being the servant of the servant sitting behind actually his smile captures all the children and his laddu bowls them over <laughs> and also bal govind prabhu for exclusively dedicating his energy to education and therefore part of that is also children education is taken it very sincerely and i am happy that he has also been invited to be here and of course to our other devotees who are eager to know what it what it's all about and wanting to do it in different places well i really don't know where to begin but uh, uh i remember i'll tell you one incident i was at navi mumbai in one particular devotee's house madan murari prabhu's house and uh, we had a meeting very serious meeting which started around 8:35 in the morning and it went on till 11:30 and it was going on some important meeting and suddenly uh, their daughter janava who was suddenly became restless around 11:30 she became really restless catching hold of the mother and whispering something and crying she started crying and she was, mother was kind of avoiding i said i stopped the meeting i said what's it is there something wrong no nothing nothing no 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 tell me is she is crying 11 year old girl she is crying at that time 8 i think 8 or 9 she is crying no 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 prabhuji she has to go to the sunday fun school in the temple and is getting delayed so i thought most probably we will not go today and therefore she is crying i immediately rang up dayalu ram prabhu and i told him prabhu your life is successful suddenly he was wondering hey mera life successful kyu <laughs> i said <clears throat> i was reminded his holiness radhana swami maharaj had told me when we started this sunday fun school so it was not me my idea it was my ear were twisted and told shuru karo coach kitna bar bol bol ke main thak gaya it's not that i was very compassionate or visionary kuch nahi kaan pakad ke dhakka mara girne ke baad bola kisne dhakka mara <laughs> so uh, i just so he had told me at that time when he started he said the success of this sunday fun school program is if a child is not able to come the child must be crying he said this is it this is the first criteria for the success of the program 
which means the whole purpose is just to give them a wonderful experience and happy memories of childhood life in the temple connected to krishna wow it was such a wonderful experience very happy memories that's it he never told us ko shloka sikha ye sikha nothing you said let them have a nice time and have some happy memories and i said that's it she's crying and i asked her i took her aside i said i want to know what's making her cry and then they said then uh, mother explained bhuji last time this 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 sunday they are going to do govardhan puja so last time everyone was told to bring one stone made of cardboard painting black and write krishna on top of something so one stone was ready there cardboard stone and you have to get one vati cup of some prasad which is cooked by you and she mother was telling she was on my case for three days bole mara kuch to mere ko gulab jamun banana hai gulab jamun she has never made anything i didn't know whether you boiled milk in her life she was insistent that she should make the gulab jamun and she made it there were about six or eight of them and she said 12:30 is that program i want to go till then she was so utsah nishchay dhairya she was so patient 11:30 the dam broke crying so i have to go i said forget the meeting just out <laughs> just out immediately you go anyway so that is about and as regards teachers <clears throat> i did a program for teachers teachers were there for 30 years 40 years colleges and schools and one exercise that i did was i used to ask them remember the best teacher you ever had one or two of them and one adjective write what is that one quality which you feel was the teacher was the best i would like you to do that also if possible 10 seconds think of the best teacher you ever had in your life teacher whoever and in one adjective write down the quality what was it about that teacher that so many years down the line you remember that teacher so fondly and then i told another exercise i said the worst teacher you ever had in your life don't write the name please write down which teacher of which subject which school whatever and i said in one adjective write down what is it about them that you thought that they were the worst teachers ever and everyone was writing down and then after that i took down about 40 teachers were there one time two adjectives so 80 adjectives for best and 80 for the worst and then i had i asked them okay tell them tell that experience so they were telling so they were in tears he said i practically failed in the unit test in algebra in eighth standard and my dear my tears said, he gave so much personal attention i stood first in the class she was crying 40 years later <clears throat> then about the worst teacher and one lady stood up she was literally breathing i tell you her name was i said no please don't tell i will tell you the name i said okay that's your job her name was chandrika menon if any menons please forgive me her name was chandrika menon we used to call her chandika menon and then she showed me sutures on top of her eyebrows she said do you see these sutures somebody behind was talking and she turned around and she thought i was and she, she just took the whatever was available that was a duster threw it and thank god she was not like arjun i don't know where she pointed but she hit just the eyes just about the eyes and there was two chairs i said all right all right again 40 years down the line still she is fuming so some some of the qualities were for the best teachers were loving so much extending such wonderful you know like treating as a person so much delicate and the worst teachers were 
angry, favoritism, partiality, so many things that came up. And then I divided them into three concentric circles. Knowledge, skills and values. And I found out the best or the worst teachers were appreciated for knowledge part was only 7%, 7 to 8%. 18 to 22% liked or hated the teacher because of the skills. In the essence of uh, presentation skill, speaking skill, monitoring the class, keeping everyone alert and alive. And more than 72 to 78%, invariably wherever I go, it's more or less the same because of values. So, I concluded in those teacher sessions, I conclude by saying, because these are like value education, importance of value. I said, a good teacher loves the subject. A better teacher loves the profession of teaching. She loves teaching. But the best teacher loves the students. When you love the students, you will acquire the required skills you will acquire the required knowledge when you are genuinely concerned about the children. So, I see in Dayaluram Prabhu and Radhika Kishore Mataji so lovingly and their whole team actually so lovingly extending to and the children are really happy whenever I enter I am very happy to see that. <coughs> Initially, when we began that Sunday fun school, and I traveled many of these con centers also, talk to the temple residents, and generally I speak about some aspects of training, so aspect of, you know, something, do something with the children. Most of the times, their thinking is, Ha, Prabhuji, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things. That's why I put a place in a place. So this is the like the top, the best thing was just to make sure that nobody disturbs the lecture up there. This was my understanding. I thought why Maharaj is so much insisting on starting a children program. But later as an, uh, as I got to know more the way he interacted and he started a Balutsa once in a month after the Sunday feast he said whatever they learn for the three weeks they should perform in front of the whole congregation for the pleasure of the congregation on the fourth week that is the time and he was personally going and meeting all the teachers meeting all the students and he would ask them are you happy there is one thing you would ask are you happy ah, yes Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's it. So, <clears throat> what I kind of gathered through that and later with passing years, what I could see that uh, it's not that somehow the children are around, the kids are around and therefore somebody needs to engage them and ideally Matajis are good and that poor Mataji is like, you know, Muchukunda stare she gives because I'm missing out the lectures, I'm missing out the nectar and the cream. And the same, whoever takes the responsibility is cursed forever, according to, you know, that's it. Kalapani, saja milia usko. Abhi bechari ko kuch nahi milega. So that's why in other places where I go, I start a rotated, rotating system. You also come and miss. We will record the whole lecture for you and specifically send it to you. Don't worry really grateful that you're doing this, extending the service. So, from what I could gather was somewhere along the line, we are not seeing them as individuals, as actually people. By the way, even during this program, we should have had some program, somebody to take care. I see one child here, <laughs> as long as they're okay. So, I realized one thing, that it is 
we don't see them as individuals they are also and especially children born in devotee family or the children in general because prabhupada explains in his book the sign of a civilized society is simple this is the litmus test of a civilized society he said how five groups are protected first is if you just know the how civilized the society is the first test is how they are protecting the brahmanas why the brahmanas should be protected because they are the head of the society the headless society there is a directionless and therefore the brahmanas basically means who have the vision spiritual vision for the whole society at large what direction they are going actually so they should be protected and we we see how the kings would be protecting vishwamitra came and said we are doing yagya for the welfare of the whole world and these demons are coming and dropping all nonsense please come and protect immediately he took it as his responsibility so the kings responsible the government's responsible to see that the saintly people who give the direction to the society at large are protected the second is the old why the old should be protected <coughs> or or why the brahmanas first of all one more example generally it is considered the head of the society the head has many functions the head sees for the welfare of the body which direction the body should move so they are the visionaries it can be scientists it can be professors can be teachers who are visionaries they see the future second the body hears the head hears that means hearing to the suffering of the society and immediately addressing where things should be done thinking about the welfare that is done by the head all the most important organs hearing the sufferings seeing giving vision thinking about what is the best for the society is done by the head similarly it's not just brahmanas today it has a bad connotation uh, especially you know anti saffron kind of movements and brahmanas brahmanas and dalits and they are being exploited this kind of a thing is becoming so prominent so therefore we have to explain what exactly does it mean to protect the brahmanas secondly <coughs> the old why the old because they are given their whole dedicated their whole life for executing their responsibilities now it is like preparing for their next life you know life is a preparation death is the examination so they are nearing their examination so they have to be absorbed in preparing for their next life therefore they should be given all kinds of protection and facilities so that they can peacefully execute their uh, life then the cows because they give the most important ingredient for spiritual existence that's the milk then the women because the purity of the women determines the purity of the whole civilization recently i am hearing on lecture about from one institution called punaruthan they are trying to revive the true vedic culture and they speak about how the children if proper garbhadan sanskar and all that she was speaking first time i realized though i have heard so much they have been doing research for last 30 years and institution is running for last 2004 or so 16 20 years so she was presenting what are the effect that it has how the culture was preserved if a child is welcomed into the womb and with good feeling given birth with proper protection and care what kind of children come out quality of children that come out so therefore that protection of women and the fifth but not the least or last is are the children because they are the future citizens of our society and therefore prominence should be given to protecting them caring caring for them protecting means giving them a wonderful the best energy to be given for them so with that in point the whole thing i i could relate to this fun school thing and as soon as we started this i could realize and he start, when he instituted this balutsav he said last week of every month last sunday of every month after the sunday feast you must do this in the temple 
even if it's just 20 minutes somebody will sing some shloka somebody may give some sing some song do some puppet show do a small drama it may be very the same drama same shlokas within time they just pass out and grow up the next one is there and for children it is so exciting one shloka and the same story of pralad for us are yaar kuch naya chiz bol rahe nahi for them it may be so exciting provided you live through that you know go through that situation and think of pralad put yourself in pralad shoes wow what an exciting story so that's another thing so this when we started doing it i could see what was the result number 1 the teachers were very inspired because they had and they were more motivated now because the children are going to perform so they were inspired and motivated to actually do something nice for the ch- children the children were inspired they were motivated because they know they had to perform and therefore there that was motivation enough to learn nicely and do nicely and just within those training programs all the skill sets developed we talk of character development we talk of personality development all was happening right here so personality development because kids would just come together automatically you see they lose their fear they are able to communicate effectively group discussion we just you know just do a do and and say okay i'll tell you a story and you decide who's going to do the drama i mean who's going to be what as soon as i say you have to do this drama next week and i'm going to tell you the story listen to the just look at the kids watching pro you kya bola usne kya bola ram ne kya bola bhai the interest because they have to make the dialogue you have to you have to make the script yourself i told them and you have to use your um, you use your creativity kya wo dress pehnega you decide they are meditating on the story for one week can you imagine aur ram tu ram banega automatically to pehle jhagda hota tu ram banega mai ram banega tu lakshman mai ultimately ek somebody takes over some leader not natural leader some are born leaders some are made leaders some are pushed into leadership all the three i could see there so they were you know like automatically taking up and doing it so automatic and speaking it out i remember one time in kolapur we gave the child he was literally shivering to speak a dialogue and go on the on the stage so therefore we gave him one um character of just hold the chamar and do chamar to the king and said don't even face the audience because the chamar also starts moving shaking so he said turn aside and just keep doing this that's all and then walk away like that next performance he was given one dialogue he became the fox in radharani you know saving the uh, fox from the fire so he became the fox one dialogue ah uh, something and then ran away third time two dialogues little bigger one next another role eventually a time came he was like a mc ek bar mic pakad diya chhodta hi nahi hai they said ye mic ka lal ban gaya abhi <laughs> so automatically they develop confidence they are able to present themselves they are able to organize group lead a group or something like that automatically these things happen without giving them you can give them big names character development personality development confidence development everything happens automatically and <clears throat> parents are very much inspired to see their children performing which which parent doesn't like and the best part was many other newcomers who had come to the temple they said hamare mein humko bachche ko la sakte hain kya hum log i said yeah us liye to hai yeah that's how some gfs also started and i think many other devotees came here through gfs thanks to our prem nidhi prabhu we started this gfs just for the children around the temple and through that parents started coming now parents are given names like gfs but all parents are there <laughs> so this was something i felt was very very useful and helpful finally i will conclude because main chief guest who has come i think he must be presenting i'll just tell you one thing i was feeling first of all to thank dalaram prabhu for organizing this i feel that 
all over the iskon world actually people do need uh, i have seen in iskon we have the best brains all over the world and they think up of so many creative ways to engage children to preach whatever geeta etc but unfortunately there is no common pool of information otherwise we keep reinventing the wheel so much of quality energy goes away because each one after 10 years 15 years of experience with children has such wisdom such kind of tips some kind of skills some kind of activities they thought was very easy to you know inspire them but then it stays with them and goes with them we don't want that so it's very i was very happy i was so inspired to hear that um, a forum like this is formed where uh, it is going to be shared this kind of information so that anyone any there's so many ladies i know so many mataji like we have started this bhakt prahlad school in mira road eight or how many are going on ayodhya rani mataji and uh, lalita priya mataji and many other they once in a week in societies in ro- regular societies they get these are children from just lay people that's all they come together afternoon once in a week get them together radharani priya mataji started in her um what do you call that pand society it's, yeah yeah no it's it's called something else no no it's actually like the society is called something else anyway so there she started a lot of children started coming and one lady who was trained there in singapore she went to singapore and she started there and that's going on amazingly a lot of other children are coming so uh Uh, and what they need to they have inclination they can take out the time they just need some kind of you know, what to do some kind of directions and what exactly activities to do how to you know systematically go ahead so if everything is ready made and given there are so many people who really want to do something they have the time they have the inclination but they just need some kind of tips how to go on so i think that will be so this purpose even if physically this meeting is not done on a regular basis at least if this kind of a pool is of information and all the activities and tips on how to start uh contact care and cultivate triple c formula you can start contact contacting new people how to contact new people what to tell them how to present it how to start you know cultivating and then how to actually care for them and these children can you become become your assistants as they grow up they can become your assistants in actually doing it and sustain it actually they will have also assist you in future so that's the one thing i thought secondly i was thinking that also uh, this kind of um, uh, activities and things like that being formed and uh, something else i had in mind two more things i was thinking maybe when i remember i'll tell you but so one is like a pool of information uh, another one actually even children's protection child protection is such an important thing so that can also be made a part of this module parenting so if we have some nice uh, authorized information and courses for children so much can be done to the society at large actually even for the society at large ha uh, and a committee to be formed exclusively focusing on needs of children needs of children at least to begin with within the complex and later within the community whatever their needs are Par- guiding for par- guidance for parents you know guidance for teenagers guidance for um, you know career uh, choose, choosing the careers so much need is there for the need uh, for the children and people if they are only given proper knowledge given a choice you do but this is this is what we have to offer it will be a, an amazing service for the whole community and the congregation thank you very much and i hope and pray that all of you not only continue it but also inspire others who may be inclined but don't know about it um, and thank you very much for coming hari krishna Thank you. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. Uh, we were in Chiplun uh, some time back and uh, 
वी कॉन देर फॉर सम चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन सेमिनार तो उधर उन्होंने पूछा कि थोड़ा बताइए ना कि बच्चों के साथ क्या कर सकते हैं तो वी डिड सम ड्रामा एंड द चिल्ड्रेन हैड टू गेस वॉट वी वर इन एक्टिंग एंड देन आफ्टर दैट हमने बोला कि बच्चे लोग आप लोग कुछ ड्रामा करिए तो वी गेव दम सम कपल ऑफ आवर्स सो वो ड्रामा के अंदर एक और ड्रामा हो गया दिस स्टार्ट फाइटिंग एस प्रभु जी सिंह कि मैं ये रोल करूंगा ये रोल करूंगा सो एक्चुअली आई वॉज यू नो गोइंग थ्रू दैट एक्सपीरियंस दे वर टू पार्टीज फॉर्म्ड एंड यू नो दे वर फाइटिंग बट फाइनली दे मैनेज टू वर्क ऑन द ड्रामा एंड देन वेन द प्रोग्राम एंडेड दे ऑल केम ऑन स्टेज एंड स्टार्ट परफॉर्मिंग एंड दिस ड्रामा वॉज लॉर्ड हनुमान एंड द स्कूर यू नो दैट इंटरेक्शन विच हैपन्स सो द ड्रामा स्टार्टेड विथ लॉर्ड राम सिंग यू नो i will make the bridge and everybody started writing lord ram on the stone and throwing the stone and hanuman ji coming with the big rock and suddenly hanuman ji had to speak to the squirrel when he looked down the squirrel was missing <laughs> our one of our main actors had gone for some other absorption he was some other absorption. so that became so funny and i'm sure as i remember i'm sure children will also remember this part of the story for many many years to come so these are experiences which children take with them and i've i've seen that memories of children in our childhood they don't leave us you know they always continue with us so if they are happy memories i'm sure they will continue so prabhu ji thank you very much for inspiring us for encouraging us and telling us why is this so important yes we will please guru maharaj we are following the scriptures because that's what they say take care of children and prabhu ji you said children should cry that there is a class going on and i cannot make it our mission is that prabhu ji teacher should also cry that i cannot come for class today so that would be another level so we hope and pray that we move in that direction